Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number 56 of my Bath City Lower League Management Playthrough in Football Manager 2015. Since the last episode where I was defeated and knocked out in the FA Cup second round and got a nice little win against Mansfield, uh, Tyler Walker scored in both those games. He scored all of our goals in the previous episode. How good is he? And he's actually really going up in value. 97k is a lot and I think it's the most for us. Uh, the highest valued player in our team, which is really, really good. You look at the others. Uh, yeah, he's pretty much... There's, who's this guy? 70... Someone was 73. Uh, that's Tarek Holmes Dennis. And he's a guy who's uh, probably one of our better players, better well-rated players in the league. So, yeah, for this league or just, yeah, in our squad. <laughs> in our squad. But it shows the good form of Tyler Walker. And his value has gone up. Like, if you check back, if you can check, book, f f check back four episodes ago or even when I signed him, check what his value is. I might even go and do that personally just to see that the good goal-scoring form has been increasing that. So... He's been amazing. So since then, I have played three games, all those away ones. Uh, Cambridge, 2-0. Uh, I mean, I'll go through the games, actually. Uh, Tyler Walker scored two goals again. Crazy stuff from him. Uh, how do you see the goals again? Uh, view highlights and goals. So we'll just show you the goals. Uh, uh, I probably won't do this every single episode, just when there's like high... Uh, really good highlights to show you when something special happens and something did special happen. Yeah, like, yeah, we we didn't dominate the game by any stretch of the imagination because with the quality we have, you know, I've been saying uh, this five at the back counter style is the way to go for us. So here they had the attack, uh, but just gave it away. Damn ball, picked it up. And I like analyzing the game like this. So yeah, if you would, if you'd like this for me, analyzing the goals of really important games for us, like a good performance or something, good goals, yeah, leave your thoughts in the comments, but here, this is a really good build-up play, this is what I initially wanted, and even with playing five at the back, we can create something beautiful like that, that was absolutely amazing, that was the team goal, Walker was just there to finish, he was the man to finish, he was the striker just there to do his job, but that was a team goal, that was fantastic, build from the back, and again, this time is a bit different, Oliver just hoofed it forward, uh, Fletcher as the target man, plays it back to Khan, then to Ball, Ball puts it across in, Fletcher found Walker, and again, it's, we're still playing the way I want to, actually, just being a bit more responsible, you know, uh, a bit more defensive outlook, and then, yeah, counter way, but when we get into attacking third, uh, the passing's still really good, so Walker, uh, what's his actual stats? He's got 12 goals in the league now, and 7 goals in the cup, but we're not in the cup anymore, so he's going to be stuck on that, and the next game against Bradford, 3-1, uh, he pretty much did it again. He did it again. Uh, so I will go through yeah all the games. And uh, but if I play a bit more in the future, like another day, like if it's like eight games or seven or eight games worth, I probably won't because then it'll be too long. But if it's short like this, it's alright because I'm going to be playing. Uh, yeah, it depends. I want to make a video every single day, so that means I have to play the game every single day, you know. And I do FIFA and my Man United series as well. So actually, just playing the game, so. Sometimes I'll just be able to play three or four games a day. So hopefully you understand that. Off camera. And then the recording ones. But here we go. Look at this pass. It's still really good. But look at this from Walker. Did you see that? He had that quick movement uh, to create the space. And then he finishes. I want to watch that one again. <laughs> I want to watch that one again. That was the first goal of the game in the 57th minute. How we did that. That was wonderful. I was so excited when that happened. I wasn't recording. See that little movement there? Uh, just to get past. That almost reminds me. He reminds me of a Torres in his Liverpool days. The way he scores the goals uh, as a poacher. Especially those kind of ones there. And, uh, I'll just show you our goals. Who cares about their one? Because we won. Uh, here, Holmes, Dennis, Collins to John Barty. Uh, getting forward, finds Lefayette, and he smashed it near post. He's improving as well. And then uh, they scored one after that, James Hansen. We might look back at, yeah, we might show their goals just to see where we went wrong. It's probably smart to do that. So we'll see Gray's probably going to whip in across here. Hansen, yeah, too good there. Uh, so we'll check out. So we would have been still winning 2-1 there, but I would have been shaking in my boots <laughs> uh, if we're going to hold on or not. But in the 84th minute here, again, you can see a bit of possession play. We got it forward to the target man, Lafayette. He played it through, and Tyler Walker smashes in the back of the net again, man. He is he's unstoppable right now, but Ross Lafayette was actually the man of the match. Then the game I just played 
uh, before was against Wickham. They scored a goal in the 94th minute. It actually, it was a red card as well, like it gave away a penalty, but the, the commentary in the game said it looked like the guy dived. So I felt a bit unlucky. That's what I'm just, I just, I don't know if that's true or not. I'm just reading off what the game said, you know? So uh, in the commentary, it said he looked like he dived and then I was surprised my player went off. Uh, but the two goals, the first two goals were scored by us. And of course, to open the scoring again was Tyler Walker on the 50th minutes. Uh, he was Collins. He's very, very good. Lafayette, he's being a real target man now, getting a lot of assists, isn't he? And Tyler Walker, I was surprised. Yeah, got past the goalkeeper there. It didn't look like the best strike, but it found the way into the back of the net. And then Ashley Fletcher uh, finished it off, finished the game off because we, we were just winning 1-0. We still need to find it. That occasion, yeah, Tyler Walker got the assist uh, for Ashley Fletcher, uh, who is okay. He's an okay player than that penalty they had. So... Uh, yeah, that's a bit of a analysis on those games. And yes, that means now we have... How many games is that? Look at all the games we've won. Not in a row, but in this period. At least in the league. We won in that FA Cup game against Lincoln, which was good. But from Morecambe, how many games is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight wins in that period... Well, no, eight games in that period, sorry, and six wins and a draw there as well. So, seven unbeaten games. No, actually, yeah, all in the league. We've been unbeaten in the league since then, yeah? Yeah, from the Morecambe game. We've been unbeaten uh, with wins, all wins and one draw. So, and I, oh, I was so close as well. Good update on the the manager of the month award. I, I came, oh, I, was, I was disappointed. Um, how do you check the manager of... Team of the week, uh, manager of the month, yeah? Here we go. Yeah, I came second, which I feel I should have won that. Um, this uh, Steve Davis from the manager of crew, he he played three games and won all of them, which, of course, credit to him for that. But I played another game and got 100% win ratio. Wouldn't you think I should get it? And the style we won the games in as well. Uh, I suppose they were pretty close. Like, the biggest margin we won was only by two goals, but... Yeah, uh, we've been on great form. I'm not going to complain about that too much as it doesn't really affect anything. It just would have been nice to win that. Morale boosting and also at the board now, I'm back to untouchable at a stage when I was in the relegation zone. It was just on, I can't even remember what it is now. It was on secure, wasn't it? Okay, it's exactly 78%. So I just know that. So we're back uh, to that stage. I could almost ask the board for a new contract again, but I still have a contract in 2020. So it's probably too early to ask from that. I think it's 2020. Yeah, till 2020. So it's still uh, three more seasons. So I wouldn't ask it yet or ask for it yet. Uh, but yeah, because of those results, I'm up to 16th now. You look at our points. What are we on? 26 points, 36 points there. And you look at the promotion places. We're 10 points. So oh, I don't know. I don't know if the same could happen as it did last season because it's still really, really tough because we don't dominate games, you know. We're going to have to keep... Uh, sticking to our gun, sticking to a style, I suppose, and run with it. So uh, we'll push on anyway. And yeah, I thought it was a good time to do the video now, um, this episode as we just hit January. Uh, we're in 2017. It's a new year technically. So uh, it's been a massive improvement. Uh, but unfortunately, we have a lot of low rated players. How long ago was the last game? It was just like three days ago. So, or two days ago. Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully. Yeah, we don't have anyone with high ratings, so we just, or high condition, like Charlie Oliver, 81 condition. Uh, we've got Roy Sheridan on 75%, George Fowler suspended, and that's all our centre backs. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to have to roll with that. And, yeah, we'll go with this team. I'm still, I'm really happy how we've played. Anyone outstanding? Ashley Fletcher's been good. Uh, but, yeah, the, for a fi eventually we have to rest Tyler Walker. Uh, we may have to play for... I know it's going to be hard. Like, it's a home game. You want to try and win it. But, yeah, you wouldn't be too disappointed with a draw here because we're going to have to rest quite a few players. And Harold Labus, because of how good Tyler Walker's been, he hasn't you know, been playing too much in the first team because uh, Tyler Walker's just shown his quality. But uh, if you can push on here, um, it will be a good thing. If you can get a point out of this game, I'll be ecstatic with that because it's not going to be easy with these kind of conditions, rotating our team and all of that. So... 
What I will say, and what I've been doing lately is being just a bit more commanding, not just going to Leah Lamb. I'll go assertively, and here I'll say, do it for the fans because we're at home. And you see one player motivated there, Charlie Oliver, and then we'll go, I still go passionately, and I want you to give a solid defense. Yeah, I'm just thinking if I should do that. Sometimes it gets bad reactions, but yeah, see, like there's no red reaction. Go passionately. I want you to control the midfield. Uh, one player listen nervously, nervously, sorry, which is not ideal. And the strikers, I want you to go out there and grab some goals. But yeah, no one gets a negative reaction to that. I feel my players are becoming more aware of what we can achieve this season. And in this purple patch we are in, the more points we pick up, we'll just we've got to pick up as many points as we can in this period because we may drop off again and we've got to make sure... Well, you probably think we're in a really good position. Oh, look at this! Oh my God, what a chance for Fletcher. But yeah, what I mean, just to stay up because we're we're looking unlikely to stay up uh, like not long ago. So we just got to pick up as many points as we can, um, hopefully as many three points as we can just to make it impossible for us to get relegated this season and more importantly for me to keep my job. Come on, let's go. Harold Labus heads it to no one. <laughs> oh, but come on, we don't look too bad here, but look at that possession. We can't look in that too much uh, because we are sitting back. Five at the back counter. Oh, good interception, Robinson. Oh, again, twice. Can he do it three times? No. Oh, I feel a goal's coming here. I just feel when you make those interceptions and it keeps going back to them, that's when a goal comes. Am I going to be the good predictor again? Oh, no. What a save by Locke, but... They did have a chance on target. <laughs> Come on. Haralabas. He's headering it to no one. Oh. Oh, do you know what? Like, uh, as a feature, this thing is cool how it is in the game here. Like, touchline team talk. I reckon there should be a, a player touchline team talk. Leave your thoughts on this week and, like, yeah, tell him to come to the manager. Is Are you allowed to do that? I'm not sure if you're allowed to do that. But, yeah, where he just, yeah, asks the player to come near him and he tells him something. So, I don't know. But as a for the team as a whole, I'll just say concentrate. I feel I'm becoming more of a manager now. Uh, like I said, doing a lot of more of the team talks myself, and uh, we're improving. Um, but, see, the possession isn't great, but Gated, they've only had one clear-cut chance. We've had one clear-cut chance. If we can get to... Uh, like, this is a home game. It's it's just, I can feel this game was going to be a struggle. Uh, I could... Cut, yeah, I knew it. <laughs> I knew it going into it. Hmm. Maybe a late one. We've got to make sure we defend, though. Mm, yeah, definitely important. We've got to say, oh, Barcham. Oh, no. Oh, that's disappointing. Oh, Barcham, isn't that guy I was looking when I was looking for loan players? And, yeah, they actually signed him. So, oh, this is disappointing. But, yeah, I felt it was coming because our defenders, most importantly, low conditions. But, yeah, there's two guys there, but they just look like they they can't physically go for the header. Um, Too tired, especially late in that. Look, Charlie Oliver, 67%. He could have been the problem, but we've got to go aggressively, and where's your passion? There we go. And then we'll say, calmly, I'm looking for you to make the difference. Does this one get a good one? Okay, there we go. That's pretty good. We'll do it for all of them. I know you're capable. And there we go. Some great reactions there. You think that should be able to do it. Come on. We're at home. See, this is the occasion where... You want to go attacking, but you're playing five at the back. Oh, they score. That makes no sense at all. We did the most perfect team talk you could probably do in terms of reactions. And we concede within, what's that, like 15 seconds? <laughs> really? Really. I suppose that's the only time I'll get frustrated now. See, when I'm improving now and I'm my team are getting wins, I'll become more expect expectant uh, to pick up... Uh, the points, and when I don't, and when this boost, oh, oh, but I haven't had these, yeah, rubbish goals conceded uh, for a while, so it's probably due, and of course it will be when I'm making a video, that's just my luck, but unfortunately, yeah, pretty disappointing, but it was going to come, because we've been on a great run, a loss was going to come, we can only be unbeaten for so long, so here, we're just going to rest players, we'll go for uh, playing for a win in the next game, I reckon, we just bring on Roy Sheridan, uh, we'll play him in the centre because he's a bit slower. Uh, yeah, like Harold Abbas, he's probably not League 2 level. Uh, we'll bring on Tyler Walker. I wouldn't imagine we'll come back from here. We'll just make our players just... I'll make a th You might as well go for three subs. It's all or nothing at this point. 
Timothy Pike has been poor. He's on a yellow. Anthony Robinson been poor as well. Out of these guys, Dan Demkiv actually. See, Dan Demkiv, he's either he can't play centre mid, can he? No, he can't. So he's gonna have to come as one of the strikers in this formation, which I'm not sure about. Unless you take yeah Timothy Pike off and you bring on Dan Demkiv and you maybe a bit more attacking, but then it changed the whole look, the outlook of our formation, you know. But either way, we'll go advanced playmaker on attack and we'll see what he can do. And even the centre mids will go on support. So it is a bit more attacking. We may concede, but at this... Sorry about that. At this kind of time, you have to go for that, really. And we'll go attacking for the wing backs. Uh, but yeah, I can't see it happening, unfortunately. And it's disappointing because Gateshead, they're a pr newly promoted team as well, aren't they? So I thought... Mm, but it just shows you uh, when you don't have good fitness, it can impact your performance. And I'm disappointed with some of the goals I conceded, though. Uh, but they maybe they do deserve. They've played well. Credit to them, though. They've played a good game. Now it's fry in space. And oh, they're just coming. Do you ever have those games, man, at this lower level? The goals just keep smashing in. When you are, yeah, a lower team in the league... And especially if you've been on good form as well. There's just some games that go completely, <laughs> yeah, flipped, really. Um, yeah, it might be morale depleting. I wouldn't want to get terrible morale, like just go heaps down just because... See, they keep coming in, man. Oh, no, I'm trying to uh, refrain from getting too frustrated because uh, we've improved so much more, but y you can't hide behind it. It is frustrating, to get a 5-0 result like this out of nowhere. Now, Tyler Walker. Demkiv. Uh, goes close again. And I wanted, yeah, to kind of show you the form in a match that I was uh, playing, I suppose. Because uh, this is not us. Like, this is not how we've been playing. But this is where, as I mentioned already, I just want to finish this game. I'm just waiting, yeah. Uh, uh, I fully believe that fitness issue, and we had to rest uh, quite a few players, best players, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we come out firing in the next game. We'll finish with a good team talk here. Uh, just a frustrating one, most likely. Aggressively, that's not good enough. Uh, fire them up. Still some decent morales within there. And we're still 17th, but again, our uh, goal difference will take a hit. So yeah, we're not, it's not going to be a season like last season where we get into playoffs. It's going to be a season of just making sure we survive... Uh, maybe lower mid-table so expectations aren't super high next season and then we can look for promotion maybe next season if our depends how much our young players develop and who we can attract uh, the following uh, season in the off season who we can bring to the club but also you've got to be honest gate said have been one of the better teams this season especially if you look into they've only played 21 games now and they're they could easily be top because look at the teams played three more games of them, um, to them, 24, and they've played 21. And, yeah, a couple of them is on the same points as Wickham uh, with three extra games and three extra games to Oxford and Carlisle. And, yeah, uh, three points away from Carlisle and six points away from Oxford. And same with Crew, who played, uh, what's that, two more games and on f 46 points. So if they win the next two, they could easily be on the same points. So they technically they are better, one of the better teams this season. But next to playing against Newport, Again, it isn't going to be an easy game. None of my games I play are going to be easy. As, yeah, we're more expected to come last even more than last season. So, but that was amazing. That was an amazing run, you got to say. Seven matches in a row without defeat. you got to give credit, especially the way we were playing. We picked up six wins now, and you think we've consolidated and left that relocation uh, battle behind now. Uh, I wouldn't want to drop back into there um, at all. If Cambridge uh, lose the next game, that will help, of course. But I feel we're going to be safe from here. I feel we've yeah, picked up enough points. And you would imagine we'll still win a few games um, along the road. But uh, 17th, we're solid in 17th position. Uh, a couple of wins, though, could push up to that mid-table to be even more safe. And here, Sakani Simpson wants to discuss personal matters. I might even think of... Uh, he he actually wants a new challenge, doesn't he? Um, this is actually not a bad thing, because I'd be happy with letting him go. I want to say, you've been a fantastic servant to the club, and it would be unfair to me to stand in your way. I'll try and find... That's perfect. 
that's perfect. Because secretly in my head, yeah, I'd love to, I'd love to let him go. Because yeah, he's dropping down in quality and everything like that. We've got Sido Jambati on loan now for the rest of the season, and we're paying him a bit of wages for that as well. Who ideally, I want to sign this guy at the end of the season. Uh, leave your thoughts because he's versatile, can play both sides of fullback. Uh, been playing in this league. Uh, he's on loan from Wickham. He's been here for the whole series I've played so far, the whole save. So he'll be a great signing. Experience. So with Sakani Simpson, what I will do, I'll put him transfer listed and I'll just put him for zero. If a team's going to come in for him, uh, we'll do that. I'll offer him to clubs. But if no clubs are interested, then I'll just yeah, ask for a mutual termination with him. And if that happens, that will be all right because we do have right backs now. We have enough. We've got Joshua Emmanuel, a guy for the future who I want to give a bit more chance to. He's got potential to grow. Uh, what's his potential exactly? Yeah, to be a good Skybet League too. So that's what I mean. We have all these guys. It's going to be a good player in this league. So it's going to help us get promoted. And Jambati, and that would be it, right? Yeah. We got, th and Dan Ball can play there if needed. So I'd be happy to let Sakani go on 425 per week. And it will give, it will leave some wages. Yeah, it will go up to 600 and maybe we could actually make another signing. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Oh yeah, and I was able to offer a few players uh, new contracts uh, that were running out of contract. Simon Locke, a new deal. Ratchnik, a new deal. And Adelsbury, who actually was able to lower his wage. I think it was from 400 to 350, uh, which was nice. No offers for Simpson. So I asked him to speak to clubs and he should be able to. I'm very happy to do that. And yeah, that's... I'm all happy with that. And he'll keep his morale decent as well. And yeah, Adelsbury. So I imagine the wage budget should stay around the same or went up a little bit. Yeah, I, I didn't... I was going to say that, but I wouldn't be sure. But went up by 40 because the other couple, I couldn't really decrease their wages. Uh, but that, yeah, gives us a little bit more as well, a little bit more to play with. And in January as well, teams might be more reluctant to be listing or releasing players uh, to let go. So here, Jordan Turnbull, you can see that he's on loan. Oh, he looks pretty good. Ooh, he does. He does. They're very strong attributes. He wants to go out on loan. I've got to better get him before other teams do, yeah? See, teams around this level, like Boreham Wood and all of that. Yeah, they're or they're in the conference. But to me, he looks good. He'll be one of our better defenders, wouldn't he? We'll get a scout report on him, though. He's at Southampton. Very, very nice. He might have been friends with Dan Demkiv. Uh, we don't really know. Um, I was going to say if we're his place of birth, uh, whether it's Bath, like Demkiv, uh, but oh, he looks at, like a very good type. I'll be honest, uh, very well rounded in the attributes needed for a centre back. A bit on the slower side, but yeah, uh, he looks good. He looks good. Um, how about goalkeeper Russell Griffiths? Nah, not good enough. Will Atkinson, again, not good enough. You can see a big difference. Ben Bentley, there's a name for you. Of course, that had to be a region with that name. Uh, George Onyema um, at Arsenal. All these region, they're definitely not good enough. Oh, Andy Bartram, they were on loan. He's on loan from, okay. He's on loan from Gateshead. Although he's listed for loan by Gateshead. They didn't loan him. Or Joe Riley, ex-Man United player. He got released, yeah? Interesting. I was actually close to signing him, but I just couldn't give him the funds he wanted. So that's an interesting one. And he can play right back. Do you think I should go for him? He's got 12 crossings. So he can, he's one to get forward as a fullback. So I'll get a, just an additional scout report on him. And you can see he'll come in and be our best rated well, right mid. How about right back? Defender, right. Okay, he'll be on par with Chambati. So, yeah, um, leave your thoughts about him. And as you can see here, amazing uh, report uh, for Jordan Turnbull. Uh, what's his height as well? That's important for a centre-back. Okay, he's a bit on the smaller side, but he's got decent jumping reach. And, of course, playing three centre-backs is always important to have... Uh, a lot of them, uh, more than you, you would usually have playing a normal, oh, I don't want to say normal, it's still a normal formation, but yeah, we're playing three centre-backs, so we'll go loan offer, anything, okay, they don't want anything, sweet, end of the season loan, and they accept it, that would be absolutely amazing if this does go through, I'd love that, just another defender, another quality defender as well, especially if you're going to get in these situations sometimes where there's lower conditions of players, uh, yeah, it'll be really good. How about his potential? How high does that go? A leading player in this league. And when does his contract run out? Uh, then, ooh, the following season. But if he does well, he's still listed for loan the following season. Get him on loan again. Um, yeah, he looks uh, amazing. Amazing.
I don't want to, yeah, praise him too much. <laughs> he hasn't. I just really like the look of him so far. Um, Joe Riley, see, high potential. That's why I wanted to sign him. He would have been amazing, but just didn't quite have the funds. Uh, loan move would be acceptable. Uh, if we're playing with a right midfielder, he would be um, who we'd love to get. With the, we could get a couple guys here if they don't want any... Or oh, 0% wages? Sweets. That would be nice, especially if we let go of Sakani Simpson now. That would be ideal, but yeah, not paying any wages. Uh, that's sweet. Working on defensive positioning right now because uh, the performance defensively, regardless of the fitness levels, was appalling, to be honest. So those loan signings, uh, potential signings, of course, did get accepted by their teams. All they have to do, the players themselves accept it, and they'll join. So that's Jordan Turnbull, a centre-back. He can't play anywhere else, just centre-back. It'll be nice. Only downside, he's a bit on the shorter side, but he's a good a good defender, good attributes. And Joe Riley, uh, who can play in multiple positions, uh, that we use in our formation, right back and centre mid anyway. So came through Manchester United, so he has got that experience about him, uh, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, that's going to go through. Uh, but here we've got to focus on the next game. We've got to turn it around. And as I said, what would have been a disappointment, basically all our players, apart from Tariq Holmes, Dennis, who didn't play in the last game, so his morale didn't get affected. So definitely had to bring him in to lift the morale <laughs> as a whole. Um, surely he did. But that's really disappointing. Our morale was so high. Like all players basically on green, like good morale or very good morale. And it gets a huge hit just of one game. That's what I find yeah, really disappointing. But at least we got yeah that unbeaten streak and we pretty much got out of the relegation zone. We got the best out of it. Uh, I think we could have. And hopefully we can just find that run again. Hopefully we can get... Maybe, yeah, even here we can get the uh, get a win uh, to get the morale back up to where I'd like it to be. Uh, you can see Lafayette back in, Tyler Walker back in, uh, Tariq Holmes Dennis back in, uh, Dan Ball back in, uh, Charlie Oliver coming back in as well, Roy Sheridan. Just, I wouldn't be surprised. You'll see a totally different output here today. So there we go. Uh, might have to rely on Leah Lamb, though. He's good to get us out of that poor morale stage. Should get some good reactions. There you go. I won't mess with that. There we go. Come on. Come on. Good team. So get so excited. Get pumped just before getting a good team talk. Uh, sometimes it doesn't even work. Oh, come on. Had possession early there, first couple minutes, but then it slowly drops back. Come on. Take this chance. Holmes Dennis. Couldn't win the challenge. He was against two there. Dawson plays in Chapman out wide. Chapman puts in a ball. No, no, no. No, don't go back to this form. Oh. This is really disappointing, man. Oh. They got to shape up. Seriously. Like, I work. Is that. I, I worked on defensive positioning for the past week. Ah, oh, it's disappointing. Come on, let's get it back then. God. It's terrible to watch sometimes, you know. It's it's hard to not get frustrated, you know. Oh, we can't let it slip. I know even if we lose this game, we'll still be in a good position. No way. No, no, no. Oh, my God. I wanted so much another positive episode so I can get good reactions for goals, like from Taylor Walker or Tyler Walker, sorry, for something. But <sighs> it's frustrating. <laughs> it's frustrating. Oh. Maybe we can go team talk and we can go passionately and show some passion. Come on. Don't even know. This is shocking. This is shocking. Maybe we can go attack with the central midfielder and the other ones on support. From defend. Hmm. So now the morale's going to be huge. And we're going to be where we were. A couple months ago. Morale wise. And that's why we kept yeah dropping points. <laughs> oh, so it's probably going to have to. Yeah be one of those situations. We have to make sure I win. Uh, to get that morale back. And then we can yeah, go on. Uh, pick up some more points. And go on another unbeaten streak hopefully. But come on. I don't want to give up. It's still. But it seems unlikely. The way we played. Come on, ball. Do something with the ball. He does. Walker. Oh. <laughs> we have a great chance, and it goes off the woodwork. Maybe on another day, that could have found its way into the back of the net. But, 
it's really hard when you're not playing well and the 50-50, yeah, things don't go your way, which you can't rely on them, though. Uh, let's say aggressively. You can tell by the morale by the bench. Couple of abysmals, very poor. Uh, maybe avenge what happened last time, so we couldn't beat them last time. Maybe a comeback here could keep the morale at a decent level, I don't know. Dawson to Fuster. John Barty did well there. Pike. Walker. <laughs> I hate that. No, I just want to end this and get playing more games. Almost. I might feel I'll record a lot tonight. Um, well, not record. Yeah, play the game a lot tonight. Try and get through it because it's obvious. Yeah, I'll just... Ben Adelsbury. Maybe him on attack gets forward. He can be dangerous. Uh, we'll take Lafayette off. Bring on Dan Damkiv. Again, it's a situation. Just keep fitness levels high. Otis Khan. We'll bring on Ben, Ch again, ben Chief uh, for some experience. What's his potential, though? A uh, youngster we signed from Arsenal. Yeah, to be a leading player in this league. I feel when he gets to that level, yeah, he can he can be pretty good. So that's what I mean. I feel as though after this game, I've said it a few times before, after I get a bit frustrated with the results, I'm going to like play a lot of the season, especially I'm out of all cups right now. Um, I could just do that easily, uh, which would be nice. Uh, as much as I can anyway, like I mentioned earlier, but yeah, a bit more than normal because it's obvious we won't you won't make a comeback like last season. It's not enough quality for that. But, yeah, we're definitely going to be safe. <laughs> not if we keep losing every single game we play, but you think we'll pick up draws, maybe a few wins along the way. So uh, don't be shocked if if the next episode is like maybe the youth intake or something, if I play that much. Uh, we'll see anyway. But it's a... Ah, oh, man. Oh, are you serious? This is not how we've been playing, so I'm not sure what's happened. I guess maybe the real quality of us is being shown, but we were playing so well. Oh, man. But yeah, as I said, uh, don't be surprised if I play, because it's not going to be... I thought I had a little hope in my head. I didn't want to say it, but it could have been like last season how we came back. Uh, Walker here. Walker. Walker. It's it's not even his day. Oh, maybe it is. It is his day. Maybe he can just add another goal to his tally, 24 the season. Uh, really realistic that he is going to score 30 this season will be insane. Not just like, it's insane enough just for a first season for a new team uh, you come to. Uh, but at League 2, whew, especially for a team that's yeah, predicted to come 24th, if they can do that, whew, that's really, really good. So if any yeah, positive we can take out of that, if you can take that out, is uh, yeah, Tyler Walker has hit 20 goals this season right now. Uh, but yeah, I reckon I'm going to play a lot because you would think we're out of the relegation kind of, oh, but this morale, man, I'm not happy with that. Maybe I'll give them a team talk or a team meeting. I'll go with a team meeting. I don't know, but we're still in 17th. Look at that. We're still, okay, York still has to play, but you look, Cambridge, 21 points. We're still five points ahead of them. Again, they still have a game to play, but yeah, we should be out of that region, you know, so uh, I'm feeling I'll play a lot more. I'll play a lot more over the next day or so. And next video, yeah, I don't know. Uh, we'll see. We'll see where we're at, though. But oh, that's really frustrating because our form will go back to it. We're winning a lot of games, like four games in a row. A lot of away games as well. Um, they might have been against the Cambridge and Bradford types who are a bit lower in the table than we've played against. And Wickham, well, yeah, they're near the top and we beat them away. Uh, but we did the best we could, I suppose. And I might play to that March time uh, when the youth intake. Just, yeah, play a lot of these games here. Uh, because it looks like we're going to consolidate in from a lower mid-table to a mid-table position now, which I'm ecstatic with. Hopefully, these low signings, uh, loan signings, sorry, uh, will be able to go through uh, to beef up the squad a little bit, improve our performances, uh, to make sure we even hold this position even more and don't drop back. So, hopefully, enjoy the video. I'm really sorry we couldn't get uh, at least one point out of those two games. Two really poor losses at home. Uh, but hopefully you can be happy uh, with the results before that uh, that I showed you at the start of the episode. Uh, Tyler Walker is still a much an amazing an amazing player for us, an amazing sign, not signing, just a sign for us uh, for the future. He's going to be great. But anyway, I'm going to leave this here. Hopefully you enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys next time.